Let me share a story with you about God's guidance. So let me give you some context. The after Easter sale last year, we bought a bunch of Easter cards and this is way before I even started the nonprofit. So this is already God's plan in the works. So anyway, so now coming up for this Easter, I'm telling my boyfriend, like I have all these Easter cards, what should we do with them? So we're still in the fence if we wanna do money or gift cards. I'm leaning towards gift cards. I think he's leaning towards the money part, but regardless, we're gonna put some type of donation in these cards. But regardless, I knew I wanted to give these cards, these Easter cards to um, people in homeless shelters. So right now I am looking up um, homeless shelters or emergency shelters in Balmer County. And I'm going through each one and thankfully they have um, how many beds or how many people they have in their shelters, um, I guess the max capacity. So I'm going through and I see that this one has 220 individuals, another has 15, another has 28 and another has 85. And the last one has 125 um, people that they can take. So as I'm trying to decide which of these shelters am I going to donate to, because of course I want to donate to all of them, but I have to choose one. And I'm thinking, well, let's just see how many cards I have. So I go get my cards and I total them all up. These are the cards I have. So I just have four packs and three packs have six and one pack has 10. So I'm like, all right, 28 cards. So I'm like, hold on, <laughs> hold on a second, 28. One of the shelters has 28 people that they um, can take care for. It's the Night of Peace Family Shelter. It says, is an overnight shelter for families with beds for 28 individuals. So I feel so blessed that God is just pointing me to the shelter, that this is the shelter that needs these Easter cards, that needs these blessings. So I just wanted to come on here and tell you that little story about how, you know, some people may think, well, you know, that's just luck. No, it's not. That's all God, that is God's glory. I'm giving this all to him. He's really pointing me in the right direction with this nonprofit. And I feel so blessed that I'm able to help these people with the things that I bought last year, way before I even knew that I was gonna start this nonprofit. So whatever you do, do all to the glory of God.